And our states at the moment are spending on average three times more per prisoner than for public school pupil. That's about the dumbest investment policy I can think of. Almost everyone used to assume that if you did any kind of work around prisons, you were working for prison reform. So to reform is to suggest that there's a good way to have the system exist, that there's a human way to have a profoundly anti-black, racist, colonial, misogynist, sexist institution exist. If one looks at the history of the prisons in this country, one sees that from the very beginning, it was about reform. The prison itself was supposed to be a reform, right? And then um, reforms have actually helped over time to create a stronger institution of imprisonment. Prisons are nothing but warehouses. Warehouses for the modern day slaves. The ink pens have replaced the whips. The buses have replaced the ships. People are herding in like cattle and they brand it with time. Prisoners become numbers, not human beings. I remember thinking I am no longer a person, that I had crossed the boundaries, crossed the line from human to not only animal, but um, being owned. So on the ground, what abolitionist politics is, is complete systemic destruction and transformation. You know, envisioning a world without prisons, to me, means envisioning a whole different world. And so if we have the cop in the head, that's kind of racial capitalism, then uh, the cop in the heart, I would say, that we have is heteropatriarchy.